rolling? All right. This is going to be a good one. Just bear with me. <laughs> See? Bear. Cause it's, a, it's a movie about a bear. Hello, Internet fans. It's your old pal Rotten Roger DeMarco here from 3bproductionco.com. And this week, we're going to be talking about William Girdler's 1976 film, Grizzly. Here is your plot breakdown. An 18-foot-tall grizzly bear is terrorizing a state park, fucking up all the visitors, and this park ranger has to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this bear. That's pretty much it. It's like Jaws, but with a bear in the woods, and it's super fucking rad. But before we get into my overall thoughts of the film, first, let's take a look at... Ryan Rogers! Splatter facts. We have nine dead bodies. We have zero titties. No bare skin, <laughs> if you will. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm hilarious. We have grizzly POV. We have cabin smashing. We have one hunting posse. We have one dead bear cub. Yeah. We have watchtower crashing. And we have one dead horse. A lot of dead animals, because grizzly bears fuck things up. The methods of death include, but are not limited to, clawed off screen you son of a bitches bashed into a tree falling rocks mauled slashed and bear hugged some of them are barely attacked it's unbearable oh the bear pun so on to my overall thoughts of this film first of all this is an essential drive-in staple this is that heyday of the mid 70s where you got a lot of killer animal movies nature run amok taking it back to the 50s, movies like that, but without the radiation factor. In the 70s, we went through this boom of killer bees, killer bears, killer sharks, killer frogs, killer bunny rabbits. I mean, it goes on and on, and I'm not making that up. Night of the Lepus is about killer bunny rabbits. Just a lot of really fun, wild movies. Oh, also, honorable mention, Food of the Gods, killer rats. But this movie is almost shot for shot Jaws. Just in a national park, with a giant fucking grizzly bear. But you know what? It works. It's a Jaws ripoff, but it's just different enough to be super fun and you can forgive it for being a blatant style thief. This movie is top to bottom great. The gore in this movie is solid. This movie was actually the like heavyweight champion as far as an independent horror film earning a boatload of money only to be dethroned by the John Carpenter classic Halloween in 1978. So if you haven't seen Grizzly, you really need to check this movie out because it wasn't until Halloween came out that another horror film, an independent horror film, was this successful. It really does a great job of being this crazy, it's almost a slasher film with a grizzly bear. It has the pace of a slasher film. It, we do have, he is a cool villain. I mean, an 18 foot tall grizzly bear, which this is the first time I've ever heard of an 18 foot tall grizzly bear. I don't know if that's standard or if this dude was just slightly bigger than the other ones, but that's a big motherfucker. When they do the grizzly bear POV shots, the camera is super high. Obviously the camera would have to be 18 feet in the air to make it seem like it was really the bear looking down on you. And to put that in perspective, the swimming pool where I live, the deep end is nine feet. That grizzly bear would be waist deep in the fucking deep end of a swimming pool. That's a fucking massive grizzly bear. It's hilarious to me, but it works, guys. This movie works on every level. The actor, Christopher George, he plays the park ranger, Michael Kelly. He was in graduation day, he was the coach in Graduation Day, which I just recently reviewed. He does a great job in this movie. He's very likable and personable, as opposed to the way he was in Graduation Day, because he's kind of a fuck in Graduation Day. But in this movie, he kind of takes charge. He's this suave, relatively handsome man. He's the one that comes up with the plans on how to hunt this grizzly bear. And he's a great leading man. If you like that actor from Graduation Day and you want to see something else that he's done, look no further. He gets to be the lead in this film, and he's fantastic. The entire mood 
of the film has that 70s vibe. There's a lot of things about this movie that are so charming, it could never be made today, ever, I swear to God. It's just a fun movie. I can see the appeal of seeing this in a drive-in. I think that that grizzly bear needs to be seen on a screen that big. It is effective at home, but I can imagine in the 70s seeing this on a big screen and just being like, that is a big fucking grizzly bear. This movie is rated PG, which I think in the 70s stood for plenty gore. Cause holy Christ, the 70s were a different time, guys. We could show nudity, although this film does not have nudity. It's close. This is crazy to me. This movie has more gore, obviously, than Halloween, cause Halloween doesn't have any, but Halloween had an R rating. This movie is covered in buckets of blood there is a child that gets mauled by a grizzly bear in this movie. This movie does not give a fuck, does not pull punches. I commend it for that. Anytime a movie has the balls to say, see that little kid over there? Fuck that little kid. Again, how I said that this movie is very similar to Jaws and follows the beats of Jaws. You have a mayor who refuses to close this national park even after one, two, three, multiple bear attacks. He's like, ah, you know, it's fine. Just you guys handle it. This is our busy weekend. Let the people come spend their money and stay here. You do your job. One, two, three dead bodies is not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. I have money to make and I need to look good. You catch the bear, we make the money. It's a win-win. Straight out of the pages of Jaws, but it works because it's a small town. It's their source of income and you would sort of expect the people in charge of the town to maybe react that way if they had their scumbag dial turned the wrong direction. It happens and it's great in this movie. So the last 20 minutes of this film are worth the price of this film alone. I don't want to spoil too much about this film. I just have two words to say to you to entice you about the finale of this film. Are you ready for them? Here they are. Rocket Launcher. Those two words, plus the fact that there's an 18 foot tall grizzly bear. I don't know what else I can do. I have a blast with this movie. In my personal opinion, I think that this movie is 100% popcorn as fuck because it is one of those late night movies. It's a total staple that you wanna have fun with, you wanna sit down with your buddies. This isn't a movie that's going to scare you. It might have in the 70s, yes, but this is a campy, fun ride. You just need to see to believe. It ran shit for two years until Halloween dethroned it, so you've got to check this out. I don't know how else to put it to you, but if I have swayed you, click the link in the description and get a copy of Grizzly today. But I suppose I should probably get going because after all, there's a lot of movies out there and somebody's got to watch them. So why not me? Right? I ran out of bear puns. I am completely out of bear puns.